In an earlier video, we also saw a, a, a little bit on the sales profile. We're viewing a contact record here, and up here at the top, we've got sales profile. Um, we're just going to select that button. Um, the sales profile, in addition to the things that we have set, like accounts receivable, credit limits, and terms, and that kind of stuff, you also can create custom fields that you can set to show down here in the bottom. So you have control of tracking all kinds of, of information and stuff about the customer that, that you may want to track. Um, to modify any of this data, we're just going to come up here and edit the information. Um, this is where we can set up that they are a tax exempt customer. We can select what exempt tax rate to use for them. We can set specific taxes that we want to have set up for that particular customer. Um, put in their tax exempt number and other information, uh, assign them to a particular sales rep, um, enter in discount percentages that we want to have over cost. It, it defaults to list or I can do it over cost. Um, you know, don't calculate interest on AR. The, the point here is I, I would really kind of come in and look at this stuff to, to kind of see what options you might want to use. Um, so, and this is also where I can assign a sales campaign to them. And then you've got your options down here at the bottom. Now, in, in addition to this, you'll notice on the sales profile, there's a note down here that just says notes and it's, and it's got some information about the guy. Um, you don't really have to go to the sales profile to see that. And, and we highly recommend using this when you're, when you're doing cold calls or when you're talking to customers, because right here at the top, when you locate that customer, when you select this, it shows you whatever information you have available to, uh, for that particular customer to help prompt who they are, what you were talking to them the last time they were in without having to go, go through a bunch of correspondence logs. So it's just a, a, a quick note to get as much information as you can about the customer and, and a nice easy way to get to it without having to go to the sales profile. And it's also available to you no matter where you're at. So even if you're in invoicing, you can still open up the sales information or the, the contact information and kind of see what's going on with them. So we you know highly recommend using that little feature because it does and it color codes itself too so you know there's a note or not. Um, it's red when there's a note and it's uh, not when it's like a grayed out color when it's not a note in it. Um, so it kind of prompts you that, that there's something there you might want to take a look at. But that's pretty much uh, the process for the, the sales uh, profile information.